Good evening everyone, welcome back to Tom Plays Europa Universalis 4 for Absolute Beginners. We are back with Great Britain and hopefully we will soon be attacking Castile and Portugal again. Hopefully. However, <laughs> really need to get our colonial army across before we do anything else. Where exactly did we send it? Right. Let's see if we can get you all the way to here. Okay, what else are we dealing with? Finally started getting some manpower back. Which uprisings are we expecting? Well, supposedly there's an Incan uprising, which I can't actually see. So I don't know why it's even appearing on this list, to be honest. Legion Separatists, on the other hand, are imminent. So, better not move the army. The rest don't appear to be our problem. That's a good reminder though, let's put in some money to be the next paper controller. Okay, brilliant. So we can now check our final force limit. We have room for 13 troops. So a small mercenary army might not be too much for us. At the moment we are kind of hammering our finances a bit supporting British Alaska. But yeah, this is good. So we're just spying on Castile and Portugal to try and restore some of the claims we've lost. Hopefully have a decent number. I think the main ones are going to be, at least for Portugal, will be Mexico and Louisiana. Castile, we probably want to get a few in Florida. And Canada, if we don't have them already. And of course Castile itself, we definitely want Zamora, because it'll give us direct access to Portugal. But yeah, for now, probably best just to spin on for a bit. Okay. Right, that's fine. So this colony is finished. This colony needs an army and a colonist. Because this was one where they struck out on their own. So no problem there, at least. Bunch of loans. Looks like... I don't know, I thought they were colonising them, but it's just frozen. So you can't actually tell. Okay, separatists did not react quickly enough. Austria's problem. There's another point actually, we need to make more claims on Norway. Start building a spy network there as well. So, Castile, yep, we can refabricate a claim on Zamora, which is probably the big one for Castile. We 
need to remember everyone still hates us. We still have the Seventh Coalition going. Uh, West Indies, yeah, they just keep attacking everyone. <laughs> Can't really afford it, but never mind. Oh, yes, and we're also supposed to be raising our stability to three. Good point. There we go. That gives us some more prestige. But we can't seize land because the nobility are not loyal enough. I mean, we can, but we will have a noble uprising, and it's the last thing I want right now. Okay, sounds like the king's died. No rising though, so that's something. May have some options for royal marriages, however. Or not. two of our um, diplomatic relations are with junior partners anyway, so they've already got the same king. Uh, spare no effort, do what we can. And we have a free diplomat. Right, so in theory we should still be trying to do something about this coalition, because we're not going to be able to attack until we do. That's fine. There's a whole bunch of these. They're uh, Memengrin. They were on there. Try to improve relations with them. The aggressive expansion is coming down. Not quickly, but it is coming down, bit by bit. Okay, you can go and deal with that blockade. What is it about the Pacific at the moment? I seem to get pirates here all the time. Dragon, yep, don't mind. They're on the way, that's good. We do need to move the colonial army from here. Pretty much all of the coast of West Africa now. All dealt with. Which is good. So I'm sort of thinking once we do this last province and we don't have to worry about anyone else coming in. There are some further inland, I think. Certainly up here. But I'm thinking these ones we can maybe move over here. In fact, I'm half wondering if we ought to be doing that now because we're going to get locked out. Oh boy. I mean, to be fair, we can't be properly locked out because we can still claim Portugal. So, should be fine. We have an heir who is terrible at admin power, but otherwise not bad. Good at military. Okay, Portuguese spies been caught. In fact, I should pause just in case there's a chance that we can do something. Like, if we don't have Louisiana, we could probably reclaim it. There we go. Yeah, so that was our first one for Louisiana. Okay, we've lost Morel for two years, so it might not be entirely a bad thing if uh, we can't attack for a couple of years. These guys colonising. Yes, they are. Good. I'd hate all that subsidised money we're giving them to be not doing anything. So, 
Right, yeah, that makes sense. Got some claims over here. Okay, any plus two advisors? We have a fort defense. Well, that's not very exciting. I think it might be cheaper, actually. I think it might be one that we paid for. So, not so bad. to war as they so often do right let's do one of the more expensive ones Power, salvation and piety. The game seems determined to take money away from us. Every opportunity. Government reform. Haven't had one of these for a while. Economical. Oh, that's good. Could do with uh, something economic. Alright, so that's inflation reduction. Which would be good. War economy. Not so sure about that. Exploitation of a new world. Okay, the, this gives us a fourth colonist. We should definitely get that. Not going to help us so much with the money, but... It should be immensely helpful when it comes to colonising. Right, well in that case, let us immediately start here. So I actually could do with a fourth colonial army. On the other hand, <laughs> I want to save the force power for uh, force limit for mercenaries. So maybe not. Okay. Still actually behind in military tech, so I'm going to wait. Your royal marriage? Nope. Oh yeah, of course. They still consider us rivals. Still, we've got a positive relationship with them now. So that's something. Uh, Ranger ball? Yep. It's not so expensive that it isn't worth for prestige. Okay, where are we up to? Okay, Castile, we have quite a bit of spy power on, and honestly, not that much left to claim over there. However, we do need to reclaim Some provinces in Florida. Right, so we've got two in Florida now, so that's something. I think we already have some in Castilian Canada. We do. So Castile should actually be good now. This is Norway. Yeah, so Norway, we were just trying to have a couple of claims handy just in case not against going for three though oh we can claim three brilliant in that case i will if i can click right i will stop spying on norway who's this portugal yes that is actually bad I think they managed it last time as well, so they're being very fortunate. Okay, let's improve relations with Geneva. And 
Switzerland, they're in the coalition. Yes, they are. What are we doing? Yeah, on, on the plus side of all the unlawful territory made things a lot worse, it means that the improvement is pretty rapid. Doesn't feel rapid. Coalition has gone on for longer than an entire session and we're well into this one now. But kinda hoping it'll all come together. also now build universities and as does tend to happen oh brilliant we've gained an admin tech and this has meant we can make more places into states so I'm going to do that generally makes them easier to manage so pretty much going to do that whenever we have the chance Looks like we had a whole bunch of these areas that we weren't able to make into states when we conquered them. And now we can, so that should hopefully make things... Oh, actually, I don't want to do that one. Never mind. Generally speaking, you don't want to do the ones... which will become colonial nations because the colonial nations can do those for you. Which goes to that one as well. I mean, actually making the state isn't a problem. It's more the coring of the state that you want to avoid. However, it's gonna be quite difficult to make out which ones are the ones we want to avoid. So let's just avoid making them into states for now because then we know we can just core everything. What's another general, so not you. Oh, we can do you. Galapagos. And you, Zanzibar. And you, West Africa. Because none of these will be colonial nations. Quite surprised as to how many we've got from apparently just one increase in admin tech. Wouldn't have expected more than 10 at the outside. Okay, I think, oh no. What's going to remain ours? As is that. that. Maybe this is the first time we've been able to do it. Okay, I think that might be it. Nope, I'm wrong. There's still a bit of Scotland we can do. Well, this is going to suck up our admin power for quite a long time. Okay, let's leave that there for now. Looks like things have got a bit cheaper. Might be because we made them into states, to be fair. Okay, oh, brilliant. I'm glad we've got this one. It's an infantry one, so it makes quite a big difference. So, might go for Highlanders. So yeah, that's going to be all I've in power for a while. We've also got another merchant, so one of our colonies has presumably become 10 provinces. So... Well, I still have the option of Bordeaux, 
We also have Panama. Panama might be a good option, actually. If we just transfer trade from Panama. Switch back to the political map. Right. So... I want to move you across to South America. First chance we get. Question is, how close are you? Not close at all. So I'm deeply worried about this. But, seeing as I have an army here already. Oh no, I can't. Right, fair enough then. I'm going to risk making another colony in Brazil. Just because I feel like we're being squeezed a little in Brazil. Okay. Oh. Right. Repair loan. That colony has become self-sufficient. So we have formed Australia. Which is fantastic. Right. Can we subsidise them? Is the big question. We can, very easily. We have a lot of money suddenly. I think that's from making all the states. However, what we do not have is a lot of diplomats. Okay. Karoo. I'm checking this because... Oh, right. So who would we be fighting for that? Tunis. Hmm. Thing is, although I'd love to make the nobility more noble, I don't want to get sidetracked. Although, would that sidetrack us? They're not part of a coalition. Okay. I'm gonna risk it. Right, so what we need to do in that case is fight Tunis. However, we might be able to get away with just... Hang on, we don't have any uprisings coming. Right, so if we take you down to Africa... Assuming they're enough to cope with Marley. Which they may not be, to be fair. And what we really could do with is making another claim on Corsica. So if we ditch spying on Spain, I think we're pretty much okay. And it's Castile, not Spain. Spain never formed in this reality. to remake the claim on Corsica if we possibly can they're also not part of a coalition brilliant yeah you see Mali isn't particularly scary they pretty much they'll be evenly matched against us with our one army down here And of course it won't really be their fight. Okay, right. Grief. So I'm 
I'm just a little disappointed that we, uh, our spy got caught by Portugal again. You really are the important one. But never mind. Well, to be fair, I doubt Yora liked us very much anyway after we um, beat them up. Okay. Conquest. Oh, right. Oh, they lost, did they? Grief. I don't know how they managed to lose. I hope they actually win this time. Oh, this is good. The West Indies have made some uh, headway. I suppose it were the first colony. It's not a huge surprise if they're the most powerful. Right. So with that in mind... Well, we really need this um, claim on Corsica, don't we? Start spying on Castile again. Lost a bunch of other claims. But yeah, let's just get this one on Corsica and then we can go from there. Saxony, that's good. Yeah, I'm kind of used to losing our claims on the Holy Roman Empire right now. Considering the coalition, I'm not in a huge hurry to remake those. He's Peru. Oh, right, they're also at war with him. Okay. Oh, well, I suppose that'll help our colonial nation not to lose this time, if nothing else. Liege has entered a military coalition against us. As has Burgundy. Yeah, basically, this coalition has gone on so long that Burgundy's truce of us has run out and they've been able to join it. Which is not comforting. That's all. Okay, how close are we? Uh, attempt to improve conditions, even though it's cost us money. Government reform, that's fine. Almost there. Thank you. Right. So, I'm going to claim Corsica. And stop spying. If we were to invade Corsica, what would happen? Far too many people join in and there are members of a coalition that would join in. Which is fine. Because we are going to invade Tunis. Right, so we basically want these three provinces. So we're going to have to fight the peasant army for them. We can take Corsica as well. Then 
we need to somehow fend Marley off. And Tunis. Actually, Tunis is smaller than I'd realised. And spotted how much um, headway Castile had made. Well, yeah, there's a fair chance that France and Austria will just handle Tunis for us anyway. Which would be good. Some trade ships. Probably the Ivory Coast ones, which we're about to get smacked down. Still, we can always replace them with better ones later. So I'm going to hold off on making any more of these provinces into cores because we need to do the ones we actually conquer. Also noticing that we seem to be... seem to have a colonist. Which doesn't seem right. Oh, of course the Australian one finished, didn't he? Uh, right. Okay, so we basically need to double back and start colonizing some of these other lands. Yes, people have started catching us up in Australia now. might be why we haven't been squeezed out of Brazil yet. Oh, that's good. Looks like Mali is already at war. So hopefully we won't have too many problems persuading her to pull out of this one. Is that fine? Right. Not a problem. I need to remember I need to change nations when I'm uh, changing who I'm making a claim on. These are all separate nations despite all being almost the same colour. Got a bit more variety in mine. They're not all red. Okay. So I guess we're going to start attacking Mali. On the plus side, it does look like we've got some help landing already. Manufactories, right. So this institution is one we've prepared for for quite a while. See, everywhere we have a manufactory, the institution has started. And it may not be moving very fast, but it has started to grow, so. And apparently we never got a manufacturer in London. Oh, we probably didn't have a tech, did we? So I'm going to build one in London, because that will actually be really valuable anyway. And now is definitely the time to do it, because it will also help us with the institution. Yes, it's still coming along, that's good. Now, so is this. Let's say nobility cannot be bought. It gives us our stability back. And also, once we're out of war, might give us a chance to... Well, at least the nobility should be quite loyal for a change, I suppose. <laughs> Thank you. 
Was there a castle there? I guess there wasn't. Oh, there must be a castle there. Right. Um, nope, not going to try and ride it. Right, in that case, I need to go back because otherwise this land here is going to get reclaimed. So it's all right them attacking the capital, but I need to attack this. Doesn't really matter because with Marley, all we want is for them to pull out. Nope, there's no castle there either. I don't understand why I wasn't able to move into this space then. Oh well, I keep looking. On the siege of Corsica. Right, we can move into that space now. Right. Okay. So this in mind, should we go for Tunis? So this is what happens because I haven't set this option here. Once we repair, they set off again and get damaged again. In fact, I might actually set it this time. So I think these guys are quite modern. So it's not even like there's a benefit in them being replaced. So I went to this province because I wanted to force their ship to set off. probably should go back for the castle because it's more likely to convince them this war just isn't worth their time and if we come in and go for the capital of Tunis as well depending on their army size not we should be fine and hopefully We can get this over with and get back to preparing for Castile and Portugal. Speaking of which... Yeah, that was... Just about to make a claim. Okay. And then I guess we'll go for the mainland from now on. But it's really more about Portugal than Castile at this point. Because they have far more colonies. Okay. Marley is willing to make peace. They're even willing to give us a huge pile of money. Fantastic. Corsica could be trickier. No, they are willing to let us annex them. So we want to start. Oh, in fact, you can see them because they're the ones of overextension, which is why we need to prioritize making these calls. We don't get any overextension from the ones which would made into states. And overextension can be quite bad, so worth getting rid of. Right, okay, I guess we're just going to finish this siege. And hopefully Tunis will not mind us will not mind handing over those. No, that's just negative. Those provinces that we want. Panama, or we can lose, well institution spread would be good if nothing else, does lose us some mercantilism, although I can't help noticing that we've got a huge amount of um, papal influence anyway, so we can just get the mercantilism back, as well as some diplomatic reputation, which is good.
Okay, brilliant. So Bonnie is finished and hopefully just get our explorer back just in case. Hopefully the sea shouldn't be too dangerous now. Because it was mostly Marley that was the problem. So we want to go here, don't we? Protect these colonies. There we go. That's good. The fourth colony is making quite a big difference, actually. I forgot that was something you could get with government reform because it's a relatively new innovation in the game. Those are the three provinces our nobles want. Let us accept that. Brilliant. And we need to make sure we call those three. Although we don't seem to be adding much to our overextension, I have to say. I think that probably was worth it. It doesn't seem to have... I mean, it's probably pushed our aggressive expansion up a little again. But probably not by much. Are you taking damage? You are not. That's good. Might build a castle anyway. If only a cheat one. No, we can't because we're still coring. That's fine. The other thing we could do is pay off some loans. Or at least a loan. Oh no. We can afford two. That's good. Down to five. Because we do need to sort out our money. But yeah, it hasn't harmed our manpower that much. Bearing in mind we can't really risk attacking until the coalition is done with anyway. So, not so bad really. I'm now much keener to fabricate claims over here. Even though our army is clearly going to get swamped. Corsica already has a castle, which is good. Okay, brilliant. How are we doing for money? We're gaining quite a bit. So let's start converting Antwerp. Right, okay. Oh yeah. This right, we'll have a colonial nation on our side. We have colonial and trade powers. Yeah, this is all Mexico, so we're actually going to form this before we attack Portugal, which is good. Should help us a fair bit, I hope. Okay. Yep, yeah, I'm gonna hand him over. All right, that's fine. Clearing the war. Lost an explorer. 
Hopefully 13 colonies know what they're doing. Oh, brilliant. Which is Alaska is growing pretty fast, I think. Pickle state, no problem there. Yep, that's fine. Okay. So I guess we'll do this one. So that will actually be enough to make a colonial nation. Without even needing to fight Mexico. Cool, so they could then go up and work on California. Should be good. Oh, yeah, need to move this army. So where is our fleet? Our fleet is here. Our fleet lacks an explorer. So yeah, if we bring them over to move them up here. Okay, yeah, so we've clearly got a long way to go. And that's not good. Uh, yeah, might actually go for an idea. Now that we've caught up a bit. Naval research wrong. Prestige is pretty high, but I don't think it's going to go up anytime soon. So I'm just going to accept that one. But yeah, for this colony... I don't know if there's anything we can do until the ship arrives. Britain have embraced manufacturers, which is good because it will hopefully start coming over the border to us. Yeah. Damaged our colony. So. Not great. Let's go to the place next door for the next one. We'll make sure we actually have an army there this time. Portuguese spy has been discovered again. Probably not jumping on them fast enough really when we've got the opportunity to make a claim. <laughs> it's not like there aren't other things to do though. them off at least. Okay, brilliant. So let's move you somewhere nearby at least. Have anywhere very nearby, so we'll just go to Australia. And did we subsidize Australia? I don't think we did. Right, I need to rectify that as soon as possible because they will be very helpful because there are no other um, vassals nearby. Turin was not actually expecting that. At least they've got a castle next door. Yeah, this is going to take a while. Right, well I think I might stop there. So, 
Amazingly, we still have a seventh coalition going. Despite all of our uh, efforts, Strasbourg still on there. Yep, yeah, I might start improving relations with them then. Almost feels like our aggressive expansion isn't coming down, but the unlawful territory does seem to be. It's a little hard to tell because they're different for each nation. But yeah, surely next session people are going to start pulling out. Still, I'm very glad we um, went with the nobles and did that attack on Tunis. I'm not sure what they're going to suggest this time. But we could do going with a clergy. In fact, what do they want? Oh, they want a textile manufactory. I think we could do that. Probably won't manage it in time. Oh, we don't need to. And seize land anyway, as soon as that rebel army's gone. Um, textile manufactory. Armagnac. I think we can do that. Or oh, we will be able to very shortly. There we go. Okay, we lost a claim on Castile, that's fine. Colony is finished, that's even better. Little dangerous doing it there, but I'm kind of hoping to try and keep Portugal at bay a bit. I'm not sure we're going to manage it because he could just send a colonist here anyway. I suppose it depends what they're doing. Right, so we've taken that one. Can we seize land? Clergy has become slightly disloyal. Tough. I'm just going to put up with the consequences. So as you can see, the consequences are pretty bad. They're actually very small rebellions, but they're all over England and Wales. So that's actually a considerable nuisance. But so close to seizing land just then. Couldn't bear to let the opportunity pass. So we've missed so many opportunities to seize land. And manufacturers do take forever to build. So while well, I was happy to do that, so we've we've lost the drawbacks already, pretty much. We've already recovered to 30%, which is what we need. So the consequences aren't too bad, it just means we're going to have to put down those uprisings. But that's more of a nuisance than anything. Not to worry. Nonetheless, I think I might leave that for next time. So yeah, generally frustrating that we still haven't got rid of this coalition, of or at least we haven't been attacked, which is the main thing. And made some progress, took colonies from Tunis, which is good. And also Corsica, which is even better. Formed Australia. Gained a new colonist, so we're now speeding up enormously, well on our way to um, forming a new colonial nation in Mexico. And even, to some extent, Brazil, actually. We are getting there. So, reasonably happy. Yeah. That's pretty good overall. <laughs> and our manpower is actually getting to the point where it's going to have fully recovered. So, I'm kind of 
kind of hoping basically that we will be ready to attack Castile and by extension Portugal and all of their allies, well actually that won't count because that's part of the coalition pretty much at the exact moment that the coalition goes and we can hopefully make some decent headway. I mean I was originally thinking we needed to do this to get any headway on Mexico and we can still make our colonial nation bigger but it's no longer necessary as such so that's kinda good should just be a question of gradually whittling them down oh, we'll see anyway I'm des definitely hoping we can finally do that attack next time and if we don't waste too much manpower we can then start making plans for India again which we do need to keep up our relationship with Vijayanagar. In fact, let's do the alliance. Probably give us too many diplomatic relations. It has. So we need to think about annexing Saluzzo next time. But at least we've got an ally. And I think unlike Siam, they don't have an isolationist thing. So we should be able to keep them. Which will help. Anyway. That's all for next time. For now... Nothing bad has happened, we've made steady progress and recovered our manpower finally. So all we need is for his coalition to fall apart and we should be good to go. Hopefully next time, we'll see. But yeah, thank you very much for watching and I will see you then.